Hey family, welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So for those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Marshawn and I am a life and relationship strategist. I help men and women alike to create the relationship that they so dream about. So right now, if you need some help with your relationship, I am a relationship coach. And so I am accepting clients right now. Go ahead and look in the description box below and send me an email and we can talk about how we can work together. All right. So today we're going to talk about how to build character as a woman or a man. Stay tuned. All right, fam. Thanks so much for coming back. So how to build character. We're going to talk about seven ways to do that. We're going to go ahead and jump right in. The very first way to do that is just to take risk. Because a lot of times you need to get out of your comfort zone in order to start building up your character. Take some risks. Get out of your comfort zone. Try some things that scare the hell out of you. <laughs> so you can actually add some excitement to your life. And you won't be as scary, right? You won't be scared to try new things, especially those things that terrify you sort of like um <laughs> jumping out of a plane okay now i don't mean just jumping out of a plane i mean skydiving yeah bungee jumping which that one i ain't gonna say that i'm gonna try that one but skydiving is one that i want to try parasailing is another one that i want to try i definitely want to do the hot air balloon ride i still have yet to do that i need to find time to do that but anything that scares the heck out of you is the thing that you need to take a risk and try even building that business starting your own business moving to the next career and of course moving out of that relationship or ending a relationship try something that scares the heck out of you take the risk because you never know where it's going to take you and what new possibilities it is going to bring by you taking that risk the second way to build character is to surround yourself by those people who have a high character about themselves already. So find out what you want and how you want to be and then surround yourself with those type of people who have those characteristics already because once you actually start hanging around those type of people, you know that those things will start to rub off on you. It really is true. If you hang around people that act what they call ghetto, you will start to have some type of ghettoness around you. If you hang around people that are trying to build businesses, at some point it's going to rub off on you. Like, I mean, you know, if they're doing it, I could do it too. You know, readers, inventors, whatever it is that you are trying to achieve and the character, uh, the characteristics that you actually want to attain, surround yourself with those people who already have those things. And guess what? At some point, somebody's going to be looking at you as the person that they want to have in their circle. Number three is to get out of your comfort zone and to find those people that you deem as complicated and try to find ways to shake up the status quo and to actually understand those people that you deem complicated. So get out of your comfort zone. Get around some people that you deem complicated. Try to understand them a lot better. This is going to help you build character. This is also going to help you to be able to talk about a variety of other things with different people. It's going to keep you and show other people that you are actually interesting. The fourth way to build character is to get a job. Yes, a mediocre job, a job that you just would not love or like at all. <laughs> I mean, seriously, one of those jobs where you got to put in some energy, some work, because once you once you, once you understand that money does not grow on trees and that it really does take work to earn the money, then guess what? You start to appreciate it more. So whatever that job is that you're thinking, especially if you're younger, right? I mean, even if you are more mature, but especially if you are younger and you have years to just throw away or at least one year, right? To throw away because you are trying to figure out what you like, what you don't like. Get one of those jobs. And some people don't like being a barista. So try being a, bar a barista, right? Delivering pizza, whatever it is, some fast food type of job that I can think of. Or maybe it's working in construction, whatever it is that you see as a job that 
uh, hell no, I won't do. That's the job you need to do <laughs> at least for a year. Just try it out. This is absolutely going to help to build your character because you are going to appreciate the money that you bring in once you get that job, once you get that career that you really, really love. The fifth way to build character is to commit yourself to self-improvement. If you want to be the person that somebody looks up to that is their inspiration and somebody that they respect and somebody that they feel has a high character, you have to commit to um, learning something new every single day. So commit to self-improvement on a daily basis. And at some point, it might not happen You know, in the first few days. It might not happen in the first few months. It might not even happen in the first few, few years. Years, but at some point, you will be the inspiration and the person, you know, that, that somebody else is saying, they have really high character. Or again, I want them to be in my circle. Or again, you know, um, that thing that they do, I want that. And so I want to start surrounding myself with them so it can rub off on me. At some point, you will become the inspiration for somebody else. The sixth way to build character is to make sure that you find time to vent. I know that this one sounds kind of odd, but you want to do this in a private setting. You do not want to let everybody see how you vent and what you are actually venting about because everybody does not have the best interest at heart or your best interest at heart, right? So you want to try to pick a safe place to vent, which is usually behind closed doors around your close circle of friends, people who can actually appreciate you and know who you are outside of what the world or how the world sees you. You have to be able to get this stuff off of your chest because sometimes we just need to get it out. The reason why you want to vent in private is to make sure that you keep your um, public character safe. Keep it safe. It's not like you're, you're living a double life or anything. You, you just need to get some things off your chest because things bother all of us, right? But if you have a public, if you, if you are a public figure, you want to keep that status quo because that's great to do, right? And you want to be an inspiration to others or you want others to look up to you, right? But sometimes you just need to get it off your chest because guess what? All of us are human and we just need to get it out and it's okay. So venting, make time for venting in private. The seventh and final way to build your character, and obviously this is not the end all be all list, right? But the seventh way to build some character is just to open up to a variety of people because people that have character and people with character, they can actually communicate with a variety of people about a variety of subjects and things. So fam, go put yourself out there. Get out there with a variety of people. Take on the job that you wouldn't necessarily want to take on. Surround yourself with the type of people and the type of characteristic that you want for yourself because again, at some point, you will become somebody else's inspiration and they will want to hang around you and want you in their circle so your characteristics can rub off on them. I will see you guys in the next video. Two finger salute.